18 thing. Yeah. You know, you know. How y'all doing, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy OB with a wit television. How y'all doing today, tonight, and morning, guys? How to watch the video? So, we got another dub with the Seattle Seahawks. First sweep of the year. Um, looking at that game, you know, they had Geno. Uh, we still was able to lock up, get offense, get past that defense. Uh, first play of the game, Chris McCaffrey took a, took that big run. Um, got stopped with a two or three, something like that. Uh, Mason with it a go-ahead score. Uh, but looking at that game, um, you know, we started off a little, little slow, like a day school. But we came out with a dub. Defensively, uh, Chavez Ward went down. And... Um, the Amadola Noah stepped up. Um, I know after that play, like when he went down, DK scored on A.B. Thomas. It was a tad bit late on the jump, but it is what it is. But after that, DK was non-existent. That whole offense was non-existent as far as Seattle. And I love that what we did with the passing game. We ran, the, I mean, we passed the ball great. And we had that one interception, little tip pass. It was miscommunication at that point, but, you know, you got to take the wins and losses. Um, we balled out. Um, they had a little scuffle towards the end of the game with DK and, and Fred. That boy DK tried to body slam my boy Fred. You know what I'm saying? When uh, when, Dr when, 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 when Dre Greenlaw slammed uh, Devontae Smith, he got fine. <laughs> I mean, so what's going to happen with what's gonna happen with DK? Try to body slam my man. But, you know, we take the wins with the losses on that point. You know, we balled out. We got to get back at uh, DK. He got, he got kicked out the game. Though uh, Diamond though the Lord had the same thing. Got kicked out the game. We ejected from the game. But, you know, we kept on rolling, man. Dude, like I said, man, everything was good. Uh, offensively, we balled out. We had, what, Traverse Ward had a situation. He got hurt with Grind. I think Hargrave, he had hurt something because I ain't seen him for a while. And, um... I think that was it as far as his injuries. Um, yeah. So, on to the Cardinals. Oh, shout out Cowboys. I hate to say it. Shout out Cowboys for beating Philly. Uh, making us the number one seed. Uh, also, we signed uh, Jason Ferret to our practice squad about time. I really feel like we need to sign him to our 53-man roster. But, you know, it's going to take time. They going to take time. You know, we got to make sure he still got, you know, he still got the <laughs> in him. We still got to wait for that a little bit. But, um, yeah, on to the Cardinals. And I'm going to say this. Even though Cardinals, quote, unquote, is rebuilding. You can't really say they're rebuilding because at, the at the end of the day, it's an NFL team. I don't care who's out there. I don't care who out there. Capable of winning. Um, we got to go out there and just <laughs> and settle down Kyler Murray real early. Set him down. Let him know that like, we're here. You got to be quiet. Look, just take this L. We, I know we know they're not going to lay down for us. We clearly see it when they played the Cowboys, even though they had Joshua Dobbs at, at, at the helm. Um, sit them down. Bottle win, Kyler Murray, which I'm happy we playing them before we play Baltimore. I'm not saying Kyler Murray is just explosive as Lamar and they got the same weapons. I'm not saying that. But the simple fact there's a dual threat quarterback that can actually run. So having that, facing that, before we face Baltimore, I love it because it gives us practice. Um, what I want them to do is to bottle win Kyler Murray early, get get them off their run game, make sure Connor ain't really running the ball. You know, just shut them up quick. Um, last time we played, down the receivers did okay. They got some small, quick receivers. Hollywood Brown. I don't want to deal with him all game. You know, pretty sure we do deal with slants and all that good jazz. Um, I, I, I to put Colin Murray out the pitch defensively. We gotta identify ourselves with the run game. That run game was okay against Seattle, it could be better. Um, that's why I'm working on offensively, it's working on our run game. We gotta continue shopping that sword. That that piece of the, the offense has to be sharp for us to roll through the playoffs, for us to roll through the rest of the season. To continue hold on to that number one seed, so we able to hold that together and really focus in on just our identity, is which is the run game. 
We should have no issues. Um, I'm looking for, I'm looking for us to sit people down. That's what I want to see. Fourth quarter, we sitting people down. Let's keep them healthy. Um, if 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 Javarius Ward Javarius Ward can't go Sunday, let him rest. Let him rest. Same thing with uh, Armstead. Let him rest. Hargrave as well. Let him rest. We got dogs. We got dogs on the defense. And if it's a way that we can sit you out or have you rest and still win the game, do it. I 100% do it. Because we want to make sure that, you know, we healthy in the playoffs. Like I said, the good thing is we have the number one seed as of right now. Um, Cowboys got a little tough schedule after that. And Philly got an okay schedule. I mean, you got with Seattle, which I'm, I'm pulling for in that game, Seattle. Um... I don't think they're going to lose three in a row. But the same thing goes with Philly. So, you know. But I think, I mean, Philly's a better team. But it's something about Seattle. They got their little grit with them. Um, like I said, they got Seahawks, Giants, and Washington. I don't know four games I need to lose two. For us, it's well, we got Cardinals, Baltimore. And the Rams, I, I believe. So, you know, we got a nice little schedule at the end. The division games means everything. So, uh, but yeah, I'm not going to sit here and talk y'all here at all. <laughs> like, I always just try to get to the point, you know, get the video out. Uh, but like I said, I appreciate you guys, man. I truly, truly appreciate y'all. This is my new subscribe, my old subscribe, my favorite subscribers. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all of the above, because y'all truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Like I said, send them comments, man. You know, run the comments up. Like I said, hit that like button, subscribe, share it to a friend. Tell him, like, yo, do you think he know football? Do you think he don't know the 49ers? Like, you know, I, I really want to talk football with people. I really want to talk San Francisco football. You know what I'm saying? That's, that, this is what I do. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm always here, man. Just hit me up, man. And like I said, I'm going to get more and more involved in my in my social media as far as Instagram. Um, I do a little stuff with TikTok as well. Uh, but that is strictly like Madden. You know, everybody, you know, man, I'm trying to get away from that on this channel. I'm just going to strictly stick with 49ers. So, um, but if you if you up here and you're a, a, a Madden fan, let me know. I could create a whole other channel for Madden. So, yeah, I appreciate you guys, man. Like I said, man, I really, really appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good one.